Here we are going to study how to draw the follow diagram for a constant acceleration or deceleration motion or a parabolic motion. Here the given data are the rise of the follower is 90 degree that is the angle of ascent dwell at the maximum is 60 degree return of the follower is 160 degree which is the angle of descent and dwell at the minimum is 50 degree. Here lift of the follower is given as 72 mm which is the y axis and x axis angle of rotation that is 360 degree. Okay. Now we have to divide the total section into each that is rise, dwell, return and dwell. So I am dividing the first part. Uh, first we have to divide by dimensions. So this is the rise region. Okay, so I will, I will divide it. So this is the rise region. This one is the rise region. Next is the dwell region. Third one is the return region. And last one is the dwell at the minimum. So by dimension we can show it as this will be 90 degree which is the rise of the follower. Dwell at maximum which is 60 degree. Now return of the follower which is 160 degree. And dwell at the minimum is 50 degree. Okay. So I am showing this as the rise region. This as the dwell region at maximum. This is the return region and this again the dual region at the mean. Okay. For drawing constant acceleration and deceleration curve, one thing you have to keep in mind is that you have to divide the section into even number of half. It can be 4, 6, 8 or 10. Okay. So I am here, the rise of the follower is 90 degree. So I am dividing this into 6 equal half. The only condition is that we have to divide into 6 even number of half. So here I am dividing this into 6 equal number of half. So I have already divided. So each section will be 15, 15 degree. So I am constructing lines. So I have divided this into six equal number of halves. Okay. Uh, showing the intermediate lines as thin lines. Okay. Now I have to start number starting from zero. Zero. Second will be one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Six numbers. Now we have divided the whole section to 6 equal number of halves. Now we have to select the middle line that is the 3 which is the middle line. You have to you, you can see 3 section here and 3 section here. You have to divide this middle line also into 6 equal number of halves. So I am dividing this line also into 6 equal number of halves. So total height is uh, sorry lift of the follower is 72. So 72 divided by 6 will be each section will be 12. So I am drawing it. I divided each section into um, sorry the middle line. I have divided the middle line into six equal halves. So you can see the points. Okay. Now uh, I think you cannot see the points, so I'll give it a different color for each section. In green will be okay. I will choose another color blue. I will give it as a thick line. Okay, that will be okay. because you cannot see it. I am showing it this this way. Okay, so you can see 
each section. Each section is 12 mm. Now we have to number this also. This is for the right, so you have to number it from the bottom. Okay, this is for the right, you have to number it from the bottom. So starting from uh, 0, so this will be my 0 for the vertical line. This will be 1, this will be 2, this will be 3, this will be 4, this will be 5, and last point will be 6. Okay, every are in some of the points, so you can recognize. Okay, I'll show it. Okay. Now construct lines from each corner to this point. For the rise, we have to construct it like this. Because rise means minimum to the maximum. So you have to construct like this from 0, 1, 0, 2, you have to join length. So join from 0 to 1, join lines from 0 to 2, and the third one, which is a midpoint, which will be the diagonal. You can, um, this will be a diagonal, for sure. And after the rise, it will go to the next side. Next side, so 4. 4 to the opposite corner, top corner, from 5 to the top corner, okay. So show this in thin lines. Okay. Now the intersection of this inclined line and the vertical line, uh, the intersection of line one, inclined line one, and this vertical line, we mark the point as one dash. So this will be one dash. Okay. And the inclined of 2 and vertical will be 2 dash. This will be 3 dash. And this point will be 4 dash. This point will be 5 dash. And last point will be 6 dash. Okay. okay. I'm rearranging some of the points so you may be clear. Now join a curve passing through this intersection, this intersecting point. So I'm joining a curve from 0 to 1 dash. 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash. Four dash, five dash, and last one six dash. Okay. So this will be the curve. Okay. For the right. Then followed by a dwell at the maximum sixty degree. So dwell is the uh, dwell at the maximum. That is, this portion will be dwell. The follow will be having no displacement. So I am marking this curve in a thick line with uh, the red. Okay. So we are completed this much. And now we check how to draw the return of the follow. Okay, return of the follow motion using constant acceleration and displacement. The reverse process of this. Okay. So here uh, the follower angle return angle is 160 degree so i am dividing this into eight equal sections okay so i am dividing this into eight equal sections so okay i have already divided it so this will be your first section okay now i will So I have divided it, okay. So I start numbering those. Uh, so the last point was six, 
So I'll start from 7 here. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, sorry, 13, 14, and last point is 15. Okay. This is 12.1. Point, point okay. Now you have to divide the center line. So you have to select the center line. So here the center line will be which one? It will be the line 11. Okay. You have to select the center line. So this will be the line 11, which is center line. You can see four sections on the left side and four sections on the right side. Right so you have to divide this line into 8 equal halves, okay, 8 equal halves. So 72 is the total lift of the follow follower. When you divide this into 8 equal halves, one section will be 9 mm. So I am zooming in so that I can divide it easily. So 9, 9, 9. Showing it as a thin line, okay. And each section, intermediate section, I will make it bold and with a blue color so you can identify. I'm making it bold so you can identify between the section. Okay. So this will be the point. Now it is a return motion. Return motion means the graph will flow from the top to the minimum point. That is maximum displacement to, displacement to the minimum displacement. So the numbering should be from the top to bottom. Here we start numbering from 0 to 6 so in the, this order. So we have to number this case. It will be maximum to minimum starting from 7. So starting number will be 7. Okay. So starting number will be 7, this will be 8, this will be 9, this one will be 10, this one will be 11, 12, 13, 14, and last one is the 15, which we we don't want to number it, okay? And last one will be 15, which we don't want to number it, okay? Now construct. So it is a return. So in the reverse manner, first we are completed from the left bottom to the top right, okay? So here we have to start from the top left to the bottom right, okay? So start joining inclined length from the top left corner to the points ten. So eleven will be our diagonal. The point eleven will be our diagonal. It will pass to point eleven. Now we have to switch to the switch to the other side. Okay. Twelve. 13 and last one will be 14. So I am showing this in thin lines. Okay. Now we have to mark the points, the intersection between the inclined line and the vertical line. So this is this will be uh, these are the points. Okay. 
7 dash which will be the top one itself 7 dash this point will be the 8 dash that is the incline and the vertical meeting point of the incline line and the vertical this will be 9 dash this one will be 10 dash this one will be same point will be 11 dash this one will be 12 dash this one will be 13 dash and last one this one will be 14 dash okay. 14 dash okay. now I have to join a curve using this point so I am zooming it to the maximum so that this curve should be correct starting from 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 and last point 14 and the bottom point okay so this is the curve okay so this one is the curve I am drawing it in bold line okay and with the red okay so we have reached the max minimum now rest is dual for the 50 okay 50 degree is dual so I am also drawing that in bold so this is our graph for the constant isolation and design for right you have to number from bottom to top for return you have to number from top to bottom similarly the inclined line for right you have to start from bottom left corner to the top right corner for return you have to start from start from top left corner to bottom right corner okay thank you